So, one of my first experiences of homosexuality, I was playing The Sims 2. For those of you who didn't play The Sims 2, when Sims woohooed, there was a cutscene and it was very, very clear what was going on. Although I was at that age where I didn't quite know what was going on, but I kind of did know what was going on anyway. At that time, I had absolutely no idea what being gay was. So when I made Sims woohoo, I always made a male and a female Sim woohoo. But one day I thought to myself, what would happen? if I make two male sims woohoo. And from then on, I was a homosexual. <laughs> I'm joking. But that was basically one of the first experiences I ever had where I felt sexually aroused as a teenager going through puberty. The Sims has generally been very accepting to at least some extent of homosexuality, even before the rest of the world was not accepting of it at all. The original Sims game was weird because although it didn't recognize gay relationships, it didn't really technically recognize straight relationships either. Sims could basically just flirt with anyone, although marriage could only occur between a male and a female Sims. Same-sex Sims though could at least adopt, but marriage was only for straight Sims. In The Sims 2, Sims could woohoo, flirt, and whatever else with the same sex. The Sims 2 even had sexualities whereby they could choose whether they liked a man or a... <laughs> why, am I, why am I even explaining this? You all know what a bloody sexuality is. Same-sex couples could technically get married in The Sims 2, but it was referred to as a joined union. As in those days, the concept of gay people getting married was totally unheard of because it was considered too traditionally straight. Just like in the real world, gays back then only could really get civil partnerships. The Sims 3 was the first Sims game to finally recognize gay marriage as just marriage and not a civil union or a civil partnership. And of course came with all the examples same romantic and flirty interactions between all Sims no matter what their gender. The Sims 4 added a lot, some of which is a little confusing and there's a bit of misinformation. The biggest misconception is that all Sims in The Sims 4 are bisexual and can openly flirt with anyone. Although this is true for townies that you make, the pre-made Sims 4 townies do actually have a sexuality but it's a hidden value that players cannot see. These values mean that same-sex romantic interactions actions may not work and often fail if they are not straight or vice versa. It was almost eight years after the release of The Sims 4 that EA finally added sexuality as a concrete feature of the game. Although I'll be honest, this was implemented in a way that was rather confusing even for me. The game gives three sexuality options, whether they are attracted to men and or women, whether they're romantically exploring and whether they are interested in woohooing with men and or women. Even confusingly, there's another sex for choosing male and female sims, but also for choosing whether or not they have a masculine or feminine physical frame, whether they get pregnant or make others pregnant, whether they can produce breast milk, and whether they use a toilet standing or not. That means that you can make a sim who is male but has a feminine frame that gets pregnant, in other words they have a vagina, but you can also make them use the toilet standing, which means they have a penis at the same time. The Sims 4 has even wider sex and gender options and exist even in real life. Obviously a lot of this relates to being trans, hence being under the gender tab and not the sexual orientation tab, but it goes to show at least how much The Sims has progressed over the years in terms of LGBT acceptance, even to the point where it's technically defying what's even possible in the real world. This has come with a lot of praise, but it's also come with a lot of criticism and backlash, especially from people worrying that The Sims might turn their children gay, and from people criticizing the fact that you can't switch sexuality off in the game. EA confirmed their stance on sexuality in The Sims 4 by stating LGB whatever plus identities are a fact of life and not a toggle to be switched on and off. In a world where every single company these days is trying to come across as woke, Gen Z, progressive in order to reach new target audiences, the video gaming world I wouldn't say has totally caught up and is still quite far behind. Even just like having a female main character in a video game is still relatively unheard of these days, unless of course she's very overly sexualized, so it's no surprise that homosexuality doesn't really exist that much in video games. Sometimes video game developers pretend they are LGBT friendly during Pride Month, during their Pride marketing campaigns, when they're trying to get more gays to buy their video games, but as per this meme, it is rarely ever genuine. Interestingly though, Maxis never really seems to do Pride 
marketing campaigns or anything. And don't hold me to this because it was a very long time ago and I forgot, but I believe somebody on EA or Maxis or something said once that the reason why they do this is because they recognize that gay people exist all year round and not just during Pride Month, kind of suggesting that they realize gay people are not a commodity to be exploited during one month of the year and that they exist, you know, all year round. Many members of the Sims team as well are very open about their sexuality on Twitter and there are many gays on the Sims team, I believe. So am I gay because of the Sims? Is it the Sims fault that every time I meet a straight person they find out I'm gay, I get asked stupid questions like, oh, when did you realize you were gay? Or God forbid, oh, I have a gay friend. You should meet him, you'd really get along. It's a Sims fault. <laughs> But no, when it comes to any kind of human behavior or trait, there are always two main sides, which is biology and the environment. In other words, what you were born with versus what you were made to become by your environment. There's a lot of research out there about sexuality and all the credible papers suggest that sexuality is a combination of biological and social factors, suggesting that sexuality may have a genetic predisposition, but also influenced by complex social and psychological factors as well as hormones. In other words, both genetics and the environment are to blame for my love of dick. <laughs> Genetic factors not relating to one specific gene, but more so a complex array of multiple genes and how they may affect prenatal sex hormones. And environmental factors being more related to the acceptance of sexuality rather than the development of sexuality. And the acceptance leads to realization rather than actually causing it. Obviously, research studies are just dumb research studies. At the end of the day, nobody really knows anything about anything. Thing. We just make guesses that can be fitted into scientific molds that can be measured and put in a research paper, but that's all it really is. Sexuality is very complicated and to be honest, nobody knows how it occurs. When I was brought up, gay people were never really spoken about. Sometimes if a flamboyant man was presenting a TV show, somebody around me might make a homophobic comment, but back then I was too young to really knew what that actually meant. 99% of my life I've only been exposed to heterosexual people, so if if it was totally learnt behaviour or something that you pick up through the media, it would make more sense for me to actually be straight. Yet still, I found myself as a hormonal teenager making two male sims woohoo in The Sims 2. And even though The Sims didn't necessarily make me gay, I feel like anyway, I feel like it has had some kind of impact on my sexuality in at least some way, which is why I think it's an important topic to explore. I ask you guys, seeming a Ton of you who watch my videos are homosexuals. One of you nicely put, did the Sims make me gay? No. Did the Sims help me realize, understand, accept me being bi? Yes. Looking back, as I said, one of the first experiences of me feeling sexually aroused was playing the Sims 2, making two male Sims woohoo. In fact though, even before that, I used to always, before I realized you could even make two male Sims woohoo, I used to just make male and female Sims woohoo. But interestingly, it did arouse me. But when I was Arouse, I was looking at the male sim. So like even before I made the two male sims woohoo, like <laughs> the gayness was still there. People always ask me, along with basically all other gay people, when did you realize you were gay? Honestly, I hate the question so much. By the way, can I add, if you are straight watching this video, it's a very rude question to ask someone. Please don't ask it. Anyway, when I answer, I always say, well, when did you realize you were straight? And they say, I didn't realize, I just knew. I always just knew. So then I go back and I say, well, from a scientific perspective, when did you first experience straight arousal feelings? And then they say, oh, well, through puberty, because that's when sex hormones spike, etc. And then I say, well, based on that, you first technically realized you were straight through puberty, and I realized I was gay through the exact same means. And then they look really confused for about 10 seconds, and then they realize what I'm saying is sexuality develops in the exact same way for gay people and straight people. One day, you just look at something, and you feel randomly sexually aroused, and you don't know what it means, and you don't know why. <laughs> so going back to that original comment, it makes sense that even though The Sims may not actually make you gay, it can help you realize if it becomes one of your first experiences of arousal. Just as a straight person's first experience of sexual arousal may come from watching a male and a female sim woohoo together. In that sense, one might say that The Sims, although doesn't necessarily make people gay, it does act as an explorative tool to help people come to terms with their sexuality. Many more of you had similar comments 
suggesting that it gives you this kind of epiphany moment of realization or that you've always been gay and the sims just allow you to express that or realize that some of you even describe kind of like a fixation on creating same-sex couples in the sims but not really knowing why to say the sims make me gay is a little bit silly because one might also say you know watching disney movies of a prince and a princess make me straight well it didn't make me straight i learned growing up that a man and a woman together is normal and a man and a man or a woman and a woman is not normal so how did i end up this way anyway looking back i definitely made male and female sims woohoo together more so than i did male and male sims or female and female sims yet i still turned out gay and i also know many straight people too who spent a lot of time experimenting making same sex sims woohoo just to see what would happen and they still turned out straight gay people have existed really far back in history even hundreds if not thousands of years ago there is evidence of homosexuality and this is before not just the sims but any kind of accessible mainstream media although there is another side to sexuality which the sims i do believe played a big part in something that's definitely a lot more present in recent years and that is queer culture in other words forming sexuality is a prominent part of your personality and or your lifestyle this is something i think is a little bit controversial right now some gay people are really out and proud i identify as queer part of the lgbt something plus community waving the rainbow flags everywhere and then other gay people are hiding it and they're embarrassed by it for me when i was younger the original lgb movement was all about ditching the labels stop labeling people as different don't let your sexuality define who you are gay people are the same as everybody else don't let people treat you differently because you're gay but now it's the polar opposite the newer lgbtqia p whatever plus community is saying create more labels identify as this identify as that celebrate your pride celebrate your differences love being different living your best rainbow yas queen slay life <laughs> The Sims 4 is most definitely full of these culture references, especially with its wide array of rainbow design outfits and objects, including the terrifyingly cursed rainbow clown dress. Sometimes EA does do cringy queer related marketing campaigns about celebrating your rainbow sleigh pride. Although, as I said before, I do give them credit for not just limiting this to only Pride Month and actually doing it consistently throughout the year. Although, like, it really does make me cringe. Celebrate yourself like what am I celebrating like in dick <laughs> honestly me personally like I've never really resonated with queer culture I like men like why does that need to be celebrated being gay is not a good thing but it's not a bad thing either it's just a thing it's just a normal thing for me gay people don't deserve to be rejected from society they don't deserve to be treated with inequalities but they also don't deserve to be treated better than anybody else the whole point of equality is that you know we're all at the same level nobody's better nobody's worse were just the same. I personally find that queer culture attempts to put gay people above everybody else and I don't like it. I think it's a bit self-entitled. That's why I don't resonate with it. Not because I'm afraid of being associated with gay people out of internalized homophobia, but because I believe in ditching labels, not creating new ones. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. I am relating it back to The Sims. This is going full circle. One thing I do recognize is that when you're from any minority demographic, it's really important, I think, to be a part of a community of of other people who are in that demographic. It is really important to be around other people who are like you, especially if you're gay, because it is such a tiny minority. I'm from a very conservative town myself where most gay people hide behind straight relationships. And honestly, like a lot of people haven't come out, never will come out. So I genuinely don't have any gay friends where I live and I probably never will. And taking this back to The Sims now, I know many other Simmers have had a similar experience of coming from a homophobic town or family or country and it's really tough for them to find a gay community of people that they can resonate with and because of that the sims almost acts like a safe space or a fake virtual community in a weird way it's a space for gay lesbian and bisexual people to explore their sexuality in a way that's very freeing and free from judgment i don't know about anyone else who's gay but i personally find it very isolating constantly being around straight people all of the time especially 
especially, you know, if I go to a bar or a nightclub, I really do feel like a black sheep. But when I go to a gay club, I feel so relaxed, like I can breathe. I don't even know why, but I think it's just being around people who I know for a fact are not going to judge me. I think all gay people have been there when you're around drunk people in a bar and some straight man comes up to you and finds out you go, oh really? I have a mate who's gay. Do you really? Good for you. <laughs> but obviously when I was younger, I couldn't go to bars. And based on some of your comments, I feel like a lot of you have had a similar experience to me, whereby The Sims has a similar effect as a gay bar. It's kind of letting you feel comfortable, like you can breathe, like you're free from real world judgment. So you can just comfortably experience gayness in any way you like. The point I'm getting to is, even though I don't believe The Sims makes people gay, I do believe it contributes heavily to a lot of people's gay acceptance. Am I saying The Sims having an influence on gay culture is a good thing? No. Am I saying it's a bad thing? Also no. I'm just saying it's a thing. Trying to look at it objectively, I think the media in general does play a big role in terms of influencing how our cultures, how our cultures are and how we behave in society in general. A big part of that is LGBT acceptance. In the past, I feel like the media has always portrayed gay people either in a very negative way or a very overly stereotypical comical way. And subsequently, because of the negative portrayal, gay people suffered a lot of homophobia. But these days, the media often portrays gay people as just being normal humans, not overly stereotypical. Their sexuality is not their personality. At least in British media, British television, gay people are literally just portrayed as ordinary human beings. They don't act a certain way. They don't look a certain way. They're just normal. And subsequently in the UK, gay people are just treated like normal human beings by the majority of society. Video games are a source of media, therefore I do believe they have somewhat of a role in shaping our views, opinions, values and beliefs. The Sims is a very unique game in that it was open and accepting before any video game developers were open and accepting. Even though the Sims community is very bitchy and rude, <laughs> at least people in the Sims community are very accepting of anyone and everyone no matter what their demographics are. Even the Sims content creator community is very diverse, a lot more than other video game niches. I think The Sims is very unique because the typical video gamer is a straight man, whereas the stereotypical simmer is either a woman or a gay man. In no other gaming world really are straight men the minority other than The Sims. And straight men I know who do play The Sims tend to be also very progressive and pro-gay rights. In that respect, as the only major game that simulates life in its entirety, I think it's great that The Sims has always been a pioneer in natural self-expression even when the rest of society has traditionally disagreed, gay sims are not forced to come out. It's just something normal that happens in the game without context or any other real world prejudice. I can confidently say that the sims did not make me gay, but it did help me to understand what my sexuality was. And it's definitely helped me to feel more open about my sexuality growing up and just make me feel like a normal human being. The sims made me comfortable to explore my lesbian self, make me feel normal. It definitely definitely didn't make me gay, but it did certainly normalize same-sex relationships to me. Which is great, no reasonable gay person is trying to force their sexuality on children like a lot of the homophobes say in the conservative media. We just want to live our lives like normal human beings and we want society to recognize that we are in fact normal people. And I think The Sims contributes to that in a positive way. Thank you very much for commenting by the way on my post. I read all of your comments and they've all had a massive impact in terms of shaping this video. So thank you awfully much for that. I fucking hate Pride Month. Think it's a load of corporate bollocks. <laughs> but as a jokey video, once I made an LGBT rainbow sleigh Pride wedding in The Sims 4, which was hilarious and chaotic. So if you can handle a bit of banter, it was a fun video to make. So please watch it. Otherwise, thank you very much. See you there.